Yeah, let's do this one. Well, welcome back, everyone. I uh, forgot to load the chat. That's why it's look awkward. Um, let me check if I'm online. I should check the chat first. Apparently, I'm not online, which is good, I guess. We need to turn the sound in here as fast as possible. Take the chat. Change the setting of the chat. Go over T. Oh, ta -da! All right. <sighs> well, time to work. Let's start the timers. I worked up late today again. Been preparing myself. Man, the salt is already out. My brother got me some soda yesterday, a package. Finally, we got some fuel. And even though it's only one package, I need at least two, but oh well. One better than nothing. So, let's try to fix some bugs. Hopefully today it will be a fun day. Yesterday I wake the I slept late a little bit so But oh well yesterday was the same. I was like a zombie and yet I done five hours of work. Which is good, which is good. Today let's try to hit seven. I don't need to remind myself, but maybe I need to remind you. 11 days left uh, for uh, the contest so we have an issue when we click outside no what was the issue when an item is selected in map simulator item creation menu the viewer doesn't view the item picture oh oh there was a problem when I click on the thing it crashed Apparently not anymore. It seems I fixed that. Well, this error is bullshit. I don't care about it. It says when I click on here, it showed the full image. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't show the partial image. Let's try to fix that then. No problem. We need to go to this is Map Simulator. Let's close some of the classes. Jesus Christ. And we go to the blank screen. Yeah, let's see. So when I select this one. It doesn't do the update for uh, for the, the image. Let's try to do that. So let me locate this size. Not the size of this one. Rather. Come on, wake up. Time to work. Wake up. Jesus. Um, where's the size? Um, this one. F E X O tap three.
Okay. No. View items be updated. Okay. So we could call this function at the item list. Let's give it a try. Something bugs me a little bit. Let's check if I'm online or not. No, I heard my sound before on my voice. <coughs> Excuse me that I should have better. Better, 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 better. I need to be more awake. Alright, let's give it a test. Ta -da! Happy now. So we finished our 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 first task in five minutes. Not bad for the start of the day. Let's jump to more fun tasks. So how about to add zoom, 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 zoom. Before we make zoom, let's make zoom. So in the map simulator we can zoom as much as we want but I never add the zoom to the um, to the game yet because I'm a little bit afraid of that but of, unfortunately there are no reason to be afraid anymore because how to put it there is a uh, contest going to be really soon, coming soon, and I need to add the zoom. Where is the zoom? Oh, don't tell me the zoom is in the forum. Nope. No, we have min and max. Um... Yeah, it is in the forum because the forum is the guy who's doing this stuff. Unlike the game engine. Oh, Jesus. I have several things that I don't deal with in the game engine, but we will see about that. So, usually, whenever I zoom. I multiply the factors, um, the position factor. Let me see what do I multiply as well. It seems only the position factor, the original position factor, not the shift. Wait a minute. Nope. I multiply the size as well. So it's a little bit tricky, it's a little bit tricky. What's scary, what scares me is, I multiply the position factor with the block size as well. So, zoom factor. Uh, I believe it's a float. I don't think it's a double. Where is the damn thing? I don't see it. Alright. Let's do a scroller, yep. So, let's make one in the game engine and take a look so let me make a demonstration for the zoom to our new car welcome welcome um so oh i can zoom out oh wow the items are not affected by the zoom i need to change that that's the last thing I added and I haven't zoomed for years. So that's what happened when the zoom screwed up. So before I add zoom to the game engine, let's fix the zoom in the map simulator. So let's add a new task. Oh, didn't I fix this problem? I thought I fixed this problem. I'll take a look on it after I fix the zoom. 
fix the new types of items are not affected by zoom and map simulator so let's work on this <sighs> so let's take a look Jesus Okay, 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 okay And uh, Daryl Why am I using the full name? Alright, we are in the fill paint. Um, so we are painting items. And the items in here. I checked with the zoom value, but are we drawing them with the zoom value? Yep. So let me double check. So this is a normal item. This is a weapon item. I don't have an object item. Let's make one. And a bag. Let's add a bag. So the items are not affected by the zoom factor, but the object is because the object is still an object. Uh, unlike the the all the guys have been added recently to the map. Actually, before I add them, there was no info about any of this. So it seems I forgot when I do. To multiply the size with the zoom factor. That's why I was afraid to add the zoom to the game engine. I w wasn't ready to screw up with values. So I believe we should add the zoom here. Let's take a look. So this is only the normal item. Oh, wait. It fixed for all the normal items. Yeah, but you see the weapons are um, not affected. Yeah, the swords actually are normal items, not uh, weapons. Sorry for the confusion. But it's kind of funny to uh, see a very tiny gun in here. Yeah, the, the zoom with the mouse and the uh, map uh, corners is a little bit out of it. And these stupid lines, God, I wish if I find a way to... They, they say you need to cast a float into integer and it will disappear, but that didn't solve my problem. But I'm not worried about this in here. I'm worried about the game engine. Hopefully they won't have the same issue. So let's go to the weapons and multiply the zoom factor with the size. Because apparently the location is fine, but not the size. Yeah, I forgot to multiply it to a bear. And that's it. Maybe the bags too. 
because after all I copy the code as the same lazy I was going to use the B word but after knowing what does that mean anyhow nothing better than a good test before we sign the blue color Nah, the bag have the same issue. Okay, okay. Before before I do anything. Oh, it is a rectangle fucking F. Why? Why? Um. Let me try to do this. Only with bags and see if they uh, leave a line. Or not. Yep. They're still online. <sighs> no idea. Cosmetic. Cosmetic, whatever. For now, mechanic is what I'm worried about. Ooh. Sea blue. Now let's try to add the zoom to the game engine and let's take a look how it will work. So in the game engine it's a little bit different because we are not drawing the thing in the form anymore, are we? So here we are drawing and it's a good place to mark. So let's remove the stupid bookmarks and add one in here and in here. We are already should be loading something called zoom minimum and maximum. Yep. So let's add a zoom factor here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, we need to crack our fingers. It seems our audience are not leaving as fast as I thought. I believe they have issues running the video, just like the issues I had when I tried to see in a video yesterday in this platform. Unfortunately, it's really hard to start the video and run normally. And I thought that people get bored really fast and leave. Uh, it's kind of sad to fast judge others. Oh man, look at this shit. I mean, how cannot I be, um, how to put it, um, Nervous adding a zoom factor in in a mess like this Yeah, it's always um, 
fixed with the block size. Or at least that's what I noticed. But why? Hmm. No? Yeah, this is a little bit long, but hey, be something. By the name of God, Bismillah. don't need the um, these oh wow oh he just started dang it Ah, if this is X and this is Y, then this should be the width. Figured. Alright, this is the background. First thing. Next. What? He he. He can't zoom to check the area, but it's not printing it in. What? Hmm. Huh. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, um, objects mini objects the um, no no both objects and mini objects can have layers uh, no wonder I copied the code from the map without a lot of changes so it, it took me around a month to make this stupid object system and hopefully it will be appreciated map lux doesn't need no it does it does need doesn't does doesn't does doesn't does shit i don't know well one way to find out oh shit what the hell is this this is far more complicated than the game engine uh, version and it does have zoom ah, and this one support the animation blocks too <coughs> Where are all the calculation? Wait, weird. 
And what's the map till V2? But to be honest, let's ignore this for later. So here's doing items we just fixed in the map simulator. Apparently some of them have zoom already. But because I didn't add any mechanic. Shit. Um shit, this one used Victor. That's not good. This one used Victor too. Damn it. Why? Why am I using Victors for the items? Scale. What the hell is going on? There must be a reason that I use this uh, overload. And I have no clue why. I have no clue why. But if this is the scale, then we could try to replace this with zoom factor. Creatures Jesus Christ We have layers in here Which will make the matters a little bit complicated Of course I'm using a stupid victor again Just to show you how much crap do I need to do just to draw the stupid layer system. This is no good. This is no good. This is the original X. Enlargement multiply by oh crap multiply by zoom. We are going to have a lot of fun debugging everything. I should check by one by one. Well, at least I made a check in just recently. And again, I'm using the, this overload. I'm not sure why. Mm. Fire, only one line. There is no check, no whatever. I should check if fire go outside of the screen. 
I shouldn't uh, print it but it seems I was too lazy when I made this code the funny part is that I um, I spent a lot of time trying to <coughs> making the game support more than 30,000 um, Uh, bullets. Oh yeah, if I add the conditions and the bullet didn't leave the screen, it will be only slower. Maybe that's why. Uh, what? Why am I... No, this is Origin. Oh, we have rectangles here. We have rectangles here. So, X, Y, spirit frame width, I did not deceive, and height. Next, post object. I believe the boss object already support the stupid zoom factor because it uses a complicated type of zoom. Both grounds, yeah, both grounds. I need to support that because I added this code before I add zoom to even the map simulator so this is the last part i'm afraid Now all what we need to do is a way to add zoom to the map. So in the test game, in here, I wonder if I can detect mouse scroll. That will be fantastic, but I don't think there's a way to do that in here. Is there? Let's take a look. Um, I'm way too lazy. I feel sleepy actually. And I'm not sure if I should cut the stream and take a nap or what. Um, oh, look at that. Zoom using my stack overflow. Guess the cumulative mouse call will violate since the game was started. So every time you you cannot set call wheel value on this line. So I think the idea was you should do something like that. Oh man! Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm too lazy. Let's use the keyboard. Do you remember the two buttons Q and E that I made them to make an angular update? And here it said the language. Talk about the lazy bastard, the same keys. Um, 
Mm, I don't have. No, I do have. I do have. I do have. Excuse me. This one. Um, where is the active maps? So here, oh, it's private. Yeah, it's private. Um, uh, map class. There's no properties section. Here we go. Kidding with me? Fucking a. Um, did I misspell factor? Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Let's test our glorified zoom and uh, see 100 issues with it. God. Alright, make it not as a full screen. Great. Everything is fine. Except the obvious elephant And we need a way to move the camera a little bit Whenever we zoom um, We need to call zoom um, the, the camera update thing but for now, oh, well, can I stop that? I need to work, dang it. All right, all right. Forcing myself to work wasn't a good idea, I guess. Um, but I need to work, seriously. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Yes. Um, uh, the blocks, I completely change how the blocks is drawn and uh, are painted and now I'm not sure how to make a zoom in here but let's do the symbolist thing which is changing this guy
give me a second. And this is the size, the fixed size of the block. Fuck he. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Um, I know this is a static. This is a static calculation. Um, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's you and your static bullshit. Why is it static? I mean, what the hell? I mean, it's fixed calculation until you have one variable that's related to the map, which is the zoom. Yeah, I'm afraid. I I know this what I was doing. It's pre-calculation for the values. No problem. No problem. Um, let's screw it up in here. And you are you sure? Why everything is fucked up? For the God's sake, what's wrong with you? Uh, it's actually a rectangle as well. Okay. But this one is a victor. Give me the wrong overload. He giving me the wrong overload. Okay. Ah. I'm not sure if this will work. Actually, I'm almost definitely sure it's not to work, but I'm trying to be a little bit patient with this messed up. It's easy to blame the machine. It's really easy to blame it. Contains, and this is the animation factor. I mean, a little slip to the to your position, and everything's screwed up. Oh, figured. Vector, source, color, rotation, origin, scale. Let's try to use this. So rotation is zero. Origin. Effect. Um, And layer depth. No, no, no. Where is the other one? Scale. Origin scale. Yeah. 
you on your stupid recalculation thing. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. We need to move to the position. Which was the last thing that I did before. Um, I'm kind of not happy to... I wonder if I can do this. Will it multiply both of them? Mm. All right, think for a second. I don't want to multiply this part, and that's what's screwing up everything. I believe Jesus yeah I'm kind of not sure but what I can do why am I making life difficult by doing such stupid code like this Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Oh, fuck me, man. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? It will be hard to tell what I did wrong. Um, when I made it smaller, it seems the zoom is fine. Let me make this one disappear for a second. Is the zoom factor a bit off? I'm not sure. Should it be a little bit smaller? It seems so. I mean, comparing, comparing it to the object. Yeah, I need to play with it. Oh, and look at that. Hmm. Eh, congratulations. Hmm, that's what I expected, but hey, 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 hey. Let's... What happened if I do this? I don't think that's a good idea, but... I believe this is... Um... The, the place where you... Uh, what I was gonna say... That I take the image from, no? Yeah... It's 
it's off by a bit, but I'm not sure where. Even though I don't think so, but let's give it a try. Because I'm um, completely confused. I'm not sure what to do. Let's take a look. Goodbye, inventory. Still off, but I'm not sure if it's better or not. Alright, 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 alright. Yes, I heard about it. And no, I'm not interested in enjoying it. Sorry about that. Um. I'm not sure if it's profitable and I'm not sure if I can spend more time making lessons to people that won't care about instead of working on my own project. So sorry. Actually I talked with two different people about it. I was going to go to the test game, add two more keys, let's say K and L. And this one. Then if, oh wow, I can't see myself. And how much money do I expect from the one hour? Do I need to sign up as a bro to see my own work? So I have these two questions that I didn't get an answer for. I need to move the camera um, with the zoom. That's the part I completely forgot. So how to do that? Well, thank you. I will consider it, but uh, not this month. There is a contest that I want to participate in after 11 days. And besides, I need to do s uh, certain kind of courses, right? Like I need to learn on Unity or need to learn on whatever courses you need to do. That's the issue that I'm worried about, to be honest, because learning will take much more time than one hour a week. 
if I can do stuff related with XNA or mono game or C sharp or even visual basic I'm fine but if you say oh we need to teach you something in object C or unity or whatever I was like what or even BHP and servers I was like I have no clue how to do that I'm not going to spend two weeks to teach one hour that's the issue as well because so one of you guys gave me a list of things that I can do and I was like nope 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 oh really it would be nice to have my own mono game stuff that if I can excel on it at least Okay, last question. Can I put them on YouTube? That might be an issue with the bottom line. Let's say I made 20 episodes of Mono Game. Can I put the list on YouTube? Because with all respect, the platform is good, but it's really pain in the butt to open all their videos. Maybe because I'm not premium. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing. But I guess that's an expense that worth my time. If people can pay for this platform to make it better, then that's actually something uh, worth my time to make. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that even though it will pains me that I won't be able to put my videos anywhere else. It's, uh, I understand, I understand why. I will consider that. I can talk with you. You can send me a message and I can talk with you after this session. But for now, if you excuse me, I need to figure out how to move the camera with the zoom. <laughs> Ah, I see. Yeah, send me a message and I will uh, talk with you later. Well, thank you. I will consider it. If I can do stuff in mono game, I will consider it because I was thinking for more than for a long time to start a series of teaching on YouTube, but I figured there's no way to make money out of it. And making a lesson is totally different than you doing your own projects. I need to be definitely sure that what I'm saying is the correct thing. You don't want to teach wrong things to the students, so it needs more time in research and trying to make it uh, feasible to everyone. So definitely it's harder than working on your own projects. That's why I was like, is it worth it on YouTube? And after uh, asking and searching and doing all the stuff and going to other people who done it before and asking how much they get, nope, it didn't worth it. It didn't worth it. So we have a controller called a follow controller. This guy actually behave as a camera and I add this guy in a way trying to make the game engine support several players like Super Smash when uh, Super Smash Brothers on Nintendo when different characters get away from each other the camera actually get the center between different characters so it's have some kind of behavior 
And I was like, later on, I will change this into a camera class and, and separate the camera from the controller. Uh, but because I'm a lazy bastard, I just left it as it is. Now I need to update the camera in the right way to be suitable with the zoom. The camera know who it's following. It's called a target. So let's go there to the controller class and check camera update. See here, target. Uh, camera update. So here we need to multiply it with the zoom. The problem is the zoom is part of the map. <coughs> but we already know that this map exists. Unless if it is a foo map, it's um, a fake map. Oh God. So we need to multiply it with the C map. Uh, set zoom. Let's take a look. Bye bye inventory. Well, the camera is working. What the hell? Uh, it's increments every time it doesn't. <laughs> Set the value, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell. Times is up, but let me try to fix some of the stuff. Not you again. I don't want this timer to be on. Let me close this timer. 298. Set the other timer. Oh, wow, not like this. So the time is up. It's just a reminder. 298. Anyhow, so let me go to uh, test game, test game, test game to the control. Oh, uh, yeah, that was the mistake. All right, so the, the blocks, I'm not sure why it's behaving like this. The map blocks, when we zoom, they don't go. Wait a second. This is fine. This is not fine. This is fine. Okay, let's zoom a little bit. Yeah, you see every time I zoom. That's funny. It's fine when it zoom out. But when it zooms in. It starts good up. So which one was the normal? This is the normal zoom. When we start to zoom up, it starts to screw up. When we go to the normal zoom and zoom out, it works fine. What does that mean? Uh, hmm. Did you notice that? The way how it moves with the camera is off. Hmm. The camera factor doesn't affect the blocks as fast as it should be. Unfortunately, the calculation for the camera or for the blocks is a little bit complicated because I'm compressing the data for the blocks. To support huge maps and look at me uh, the compression is sitting is getting in the way of understanding what the heck is going on even though let me change these numbers again because I don't believe this is the right way to do it I believe the right way to do it is to multiply the sucker wait maybe multiply the sucker with this one yeah, because this one is part of it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's 
Yeah, I'll make some tea after this, but I need to wash the cap because I didn't wash it for. And I drank some cocoa. All right, J, and decrease it a little bit. Nope, still not working. Look at that. Uh, it became blocky. Yeah, I need to figure out how to do it in the right way uh, rather than doing the silly things. Look at that. Anyhow. Anyhow. <clears throat> yeah, let's take a break. Let's take a break. This won't work. What happened if I do this? I guess the break will have to wait um, because I'm insisting on solving this issue I guess let's go back to I have a bookmark for you screw you I don't need to search for you I know I don't know if that will multiply both factors. The, the funny part is when it zoom out, it's fine. But because this is the only reason, the only reason for that is because the objects are still, the camera didn't move. So it is fine, but what if the camera moved? You see the, oh, I felt without noticing because, y you see, what does that mean? Normal zoom, yeah, the zoom factor definitely is affecting how this thing is behaving. Definitely. So silly. So silly. <coughs> anyway, be right back. This is taking uh, a ridiculous amount of time.
I've got the microphone on. Oh man, can I play a little bit on my cell phone? Okay, okay, okay. Let's cancel this boss. I run this boss. What? Oh man, come on, one minute. One minute, one minute, one minute. One minute. <laughs> uh. No one saw that. No one saw. Ah, but I should use the the, the, the power up skill faster than that. Now I feel like these stupid uh, TV uh, in the 90s, how they show gamers and they how they hold the controller in a very weird way, and pff, getting so excited and jumping and even stereotype doesn't fit that word. What's wrong? Why can't they defeat him? They defeat him already once. Score you guys. I have only one minute. Are you scoring with me? Uh, 
Alright, alright, it's cool this game. Work, um, 60. Um, time off, be right back off. So we have an issue with this to zoom. So when the zoom goes above normal, this is the normal zoom. When it go below normal, it's a little bit fine, but not 100% fine because the way how he move, you can see uh, its position is not affected by the zoom. That's the problem. This. I can take a look on the older code or the map simulator code and see what's going on. In the map simulator code, it's a little bit different because I didn't do a pre calculation for this. But I can see that the camera position is immediately. Hmm. Wait a second. I don't remember that we have any camera factor in the other one. Everything is pre-calculated. Maybe that's the mistake. Last one. <laughs> uh, and we have two as well. One of them for... Uh, what's this? What's this? I didn't notice this one. Where is this thing used? So this is a locator that find where the block that we are dealing with. Why don't I kill some code? I have no clue why this thing is static. I could uh, make it uh, non-static and make that calculation. Oh wait. Yeah, make the calculation locally. I don't know why do we need the controller in here. And make this one non-static. Time to screw up my code. Do you know what? Because I'm going to screw up a lot of things in here. Um, let's just in case put them somewhere else.
Okay, okay, let's make a new file. Um, map static funks. How do you know what to close it? I don't want to even see it in the bar. And I don't need this anymore, even though I didn't save it, screw it. And this one I should save it in uh, Google Drive. Anyway. No. 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 Let's take a look. It's already screwed up. We didn't even do a thing. Oh, wow. Hmm. Uh, first of all, I know this was going on. I know this was going on. I know this was going on. First of all, the camera usually decay, uh, removed from the calculation, not added. Um, second of all, it seems we added somewhere. Oh, don't tell me. What the hell? Oh, this is for the animation part. This is for the animation part. And we are going to change it later. Well, I might remove this soon. You know what, let's change it now. And if it doesn't work, I don't care. I don't care. it was static because I wasn't drawing the objects in here and the way how I handle the maps was completely different before I introduced a lot of changes now I remember why the code is is uh, made like this um,
still screwed up. Oh, it was fit exactly on the full screen. Look at that. It moved by the blocks. Hmm. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's totally fucked up. Mm. It smooths by the block, you say. Yeah, it moved a block at a time. Did I screw up everything in my code? Hopefully not. Mark. I should ignore this part completely and focus on this one. Oh. At least does the camera yeah it seems the camera accurate but wait this is for the sizer no this is for the size then the size should be correct too let me see The size might be correct. Mm. Oh, because it didn't do. Look at that. No, there are issues. There are issues. And it's kind of hard to figure out why. I need to understand the code exactly to figure out how did I fucking build up this code and I need to add a third mark bookmark before I lose my head so the third bookmark is here and actually just to make sure remove this one too I want to deal with this and this only and actually not this but this to be more specific all right thank you so this is decided on the tail this is the symbol that you decompress from and this one for the page I believe so this one I shouldn't play with
This one is 48 if I'm not mistaken. I know why. Are you sure? I believe we have two issues. The first one, we didn't mention the camera, which could be fixed. The second one is we are taking the data from the position of the camera, which is a little bit dangerous. We didn't introduce a zoom, I believe, somehow. Um, I really love this message. I mean, this is one of the most favorite message I ever see in my life. It's so delightful that it makes my day almost all the time. No, nope, still fucking blocky. Sigh, sigh. Where's my fucking bookmarks? Why can it go? What? Oh, here. What worries me is how is the cameras calculated when I move while I don't see any camera component? Am I... Jesus Christ. Don't let me record everything, please. Out of range of what? I shouldn't code while I'm in this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I should calm down a little bit. Let's calm down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Shouldn't be in here. Now I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure. Code, fuck everything. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, let me take a look. Because I usually multiply this part when it's dealt with the camera. But I usually don't divide over it. Something is going on there and I cannot tell. Uh, it's totally screwed up. I need to have a cold head if I want to fix this problem. As I said, the problem is I'm compressing the data and I decompress it in here and try to print it. I'm not sure why, it's a little bit different. in the map simulator but let me remove the zoom factor from here because this is only making my life harder uh, maybe I shouldn't play in here let's return it as it was before and take a look how it behaves then try to figure out again what's going on. No, this is not the way how it used to be. Where, what did I leave behind? I left something behind. Yeah, apparently I completely screwed up the code, I guess. Alright. Well, the only difference is this, and this is one, so it shouldn't change anything. Right. Yeah, something is um, not right. I, it wasn't like this when I start fooling with the code. And this is zoom in, zoom out. What did I screw up with? So at least when I start before when I started before, uh, he was standing on it. Something I did, I didn't remove. I need to find it. Oh, the etc thing. Yes, yes, I remember. It was see it was a good idea to have them back in here. I took the camera and divided over forty eight. 
No, actually, I modded with 48. So it's almost like adding the factors to these values. A factor of the camera. That's why it's it's blocky. I deleted the, the spot really soon, I guess. All right, let's return it back. No, 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 wait. So let's give it a try. And welcome CA2, happy to have you around. Okay. Now let's look fine with the normal zoom. Let's try to zoom out and it's already screwed up. So the spaces are not changed. And the camera location is not changed. And hopefully I know how to fix them both. I need the zoom factor. And here. And in here. And I believe I need to decrease the camera again. But can I manipulate this value to make it do that? I don't know. One way to find out. One way to find out. Hello. Oh, look at that. Well, it's fine when it's full screen, but it doesn't mean it's fine otherwise, because when I move, I will see a lot of stupid thing and no, I don't need to add the camera twice. So let's make it a little bit out and let's fall. Yeah, maybe I don't need to add the camera another time so let's remove it even though it's kind of weird to see it like this so let's take a look change 10 f i and move a little bit. oh it's fine let's zoom out it's not fine did you notice I'm not talking about this part. This part I will deal with it later. The uh, camera is... Mm, there's a factor missing. What does this mean? I don't know. It reminds me when I was dealing with layers. So it should move faster than this. Oh, 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 oh. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. I believe this is the issue. Great. Let's see if it work. Then F. No, it's already screwed up. It's already screwing up. Oh, come on. Why is that? Now it's moving way faster. 
way, way faster. Mm. Way, way faster. Will it work if I remove this bar? I don't think so because this bar is partial. This is what's making it not lucky in the first place. Um. Yeah. Um. yeah, see? Now it's blocky. But is it correct? Or is it more block off? No, it's not correct at all. Zero. Not correct. Because this one should be here. missing then what am I missing this is partial this is complete I don't think I need to multiply this by zoom twice and I don't believe if I add it outside and multiply by zoom it will be different any different Is there some issues with the chat connection? I'm not sure. People come and go really fast in the chat. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. So when I zoom out, it go faster. When I zoom, when I zoom in, it go faster. When I zoom out, I fall. It goes slower. I might found out what's going on. Hopefully this is the correct way to do it. <laughs> it goes way fast, way, way fast. Hmm. And it's blocky too. Mm. Wait, it's almost look correct. It's almost actually. Hmm. But it's way too fast. It's a little bit bothersome. Yeah, this inventory start to get it on my nerve. Actually, everything is start to get on my nerve.
still fast, still doing fast. I will try to remove this factor because now I'm not sure at all if I need to change this one and I'm going to remove this one and see what happened it, it's a guessing game I guess a lot of guesses because my focus is not perfect all right At least the normal zoom is working normally. Let's zoom out. Yeah. So the first value will play with the spaces. You see this one is getting overlap uh, oh hey hello you and your waves welcome welcome to my issues I'm trying to apply the zoom to my game engine I already have zoom in my map simulator and the funny part is working perfectly but because the map simulator which is responsible on making the game itself is much more simpler and have much less data because it's it's only purpose is to create the data files to the game engine it's working fine you can zoom out zoom in and it's fucking fine and everything is fine but in the engine hmm, not that fine so and by the way, I have a thread system, but yeah, let's not talk about it, should we? <laughs> uh, where is it? It's called Time Master, I believe. I believe it's in the classes. Uh, this is the map simulator. It doesn't have one. Give me a second, let me look at it. Is it in the map section? Yep, time manager. I changed its name, I guess, or something. Uh, so I have a thread pool. One of the oldest system I built, I haven't changed it for a while. So, yeah. Let's deal with threads, create threads, remove threads, manage threads, pause threads. And they deal with the script language, which I don't use much anymore. I might replace it with an action instead of system later on. But yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this. I'm not sure why the zoom is not working. <laughs> it took me forever to make it work uh, in a good way in my first prototype, but... Um, yeah yeah it's not my concern for now let me drink some of the coffee i completely forgot about it and now it's bloody cold dang it so yeah um i have the data for the tills the blocks these blocks are called tills in the map simulator if we go to the map simulator on the stupid map simulator the data for the tills are compressed in short so i can have many number of tills and each one of them and this is the only one that made by an artist and it's half finished as well so these are compressed and that's why i have some issues dealing with the zoom with them let me remove the inventory page 
the normal zoom is fine but this whenever I start zooming in everything's screwed up so there is the camera is not moving with the zoom correctly there is a small value factor that's not applied and I'm not sure why when I zoom out if the camera is not outside of the area things go fine but if they are then this block should be here so the I'm playing with it for gosh 40 minutes and I cannot solve it it just yeah maybe I should return to deal with the inventory system it was a headache but at least it works now but no no do you know what do you know what do you know what all what I need is to grab a weapon and put it here and rise my hand oh I need to click on the screen why didn't I hold it hey weird oh I need to tell him to hold it one oh look the weapon is not zoom out <laughs> <laughs> the menu components are not zoom out so I just want to kill the beholders screw them uh, they say a little play doesn't hurt so yeah the, the hands are so tidy yeah the weapon is dancing and enlarging and tilting because I was testing it I made the animation to, to 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 play a little bit. Actually, it's not part of the animation; it's part of the uh, layer data with the animation. So, actually, the animation is idle. The gun doesn't do anything. Uh, it just was for testing part. So, we have actually another issue other than this thing, which I cannot figure out. So, let's go to the creature. And go to the layer and try to figure out why did I screw up so this is the main and this is the layer so I have two of them and this one is multiplied by the zoom factor I mean look at it, it's so easy you just multiply the position oh the position you never multiply the camera do you all right and I'm trying to check two lines this one and this one current layer slot position oh god uh, camera and what is this the shift area Congratulations. Are you sure that you apply the zoom at the correct place? For me, as an outs standard, it looks like Smith missing. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. And I will try after I try to fix the layer now. That's why I was guessing, actually, randomly guessing which part is it but now I kinda know kinda I should fix one line at a time this is outrageous Mr. Rageous wait eh. get RC Oh, don't you love that when you click on something and all of a sudden you're in another line yeah this is ridiculous so the source rectangle oh we have a vector for the position we don't have a rectangle then we go to the scale If I can find it, this is the origin. This is the scale. Yeah, we have more than one overload for 
did go and look at that um, I, I already multiplied with the zoom factor but it seems this doesn't work uh, if I put the uh, the zoom factor out or in it will be the same but do you know why it didn't work uh, 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 I didn't include the one with the calculation so this was the issue yeah my work needs some math background uh, I remember oh wait this only for the width we need the height too what oh the scale is a vector it's not a float number in this case no problem I'm patient sometimes pray oh before I pray I screwed up the um, the victor oh man scale is a victor Actually, these parentheses are not needed. Oh, I see what's going on. Um, Yeah, I screwed up with these. Uh, but wait, shouldn't it be a parenthesis in here? Alright. Next. You. Uh, these are not needed. And... Hmm. Are you fine? Yeah, you're fine. How's that? This is stupid. Oh, look at that. It's <sighs> no problem. No problem. Let me fix you. This one is not needed. And we need to move it here. Okay, so let's test the layer zoom. So. Remove the stupid thing, remove the stupid thing. So if I have a weapon, now I have a weapon and I can shoot. If I zoom in, I know, ignore this thing. We are trying to fix it later. Oh, the position is incorrect. Yeah, do you see his hands everywhere? Uh, the funny part is the weapon, even the weapon is not correct. So, it's a position issue, I believe. Uh, what is this? What is this? This is for the equipment. And this is for weapons. This is for accessories. Yeah, we need to fix them. Let's try to fix the accessories, the hands first. Uh, where did we screw up? So we multiply the um, the position of the weapon. Oh, this is the weapon first. Okay, the position of the weapon. 
the camera but we have other factors that we didn't play with so is the problem with the the x-axis or the y-axis or the coffee axis let me have some coffee <coughs> Excuse me. It's so warm. I mean, it's not it's so cold actually for the coffee. Much better. So let's take a weapon. A drag it. Um, one F or one? I forgot. Remove this. Remove this. One. Alright. So, 10 F. Um, zoom out or in. So, we try to fix the weapon. And you see... <laughs> um, the X axis is not correct neither the Y so uh, we might need to multiply this with this factor so let's try to do that so this is the origin um, rotating the, the origin area for the weapon because do I need to explain every small part? hopefully not and let's do it with the Y And try to test it so this is only for the weapon all right so let's zoom out you notice that the weapon position is correct so that's the thing that we need to do So yeah, perfect. So we found the issue here. You see, this one is much easier than dealing with the terrain. The terrain is has killed me. I spent 40 minutes to try to figure out how to change it, and still. But hopefully, after this fiasco, I the calculation is a little bit different than here, because it's a little different class. We have more than one X in here. Let's screw all of them together. And we have origin as well. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Don't click on wrong lines. So let's remove the zoom factor. Move the camera section at last. Group all the suckers together and multiply them with the zoom let's do that with Y and don't ask me why And multiply by the zoom factor. All right, let's test it. And welcome, Rex. Welcome back to my fiasco. You have missed my work when I worked with the uh, the docking system for the GUI and the equipment and inventory. You missed a lot of work. 
So I have an inventory system and I can put weapons and I can change weapons and I can go and take more weapons. Where is the second weapon? I don't see it. Ah, here. Ah. And I can change between them and fire different weapons, remove. So now we are testing the zoom. So let's take a look on his hands and let's zoom in. Oh, sorry, let's zoom out. And as you can see, the hands are in the correct position. Perfect. Except the terrain part. Now, yeah, I need to fix this. I really need to fix this and everything will be fine. Because this is the only part that's screwing up the whole thing. Actually, the other part is the stupid lines. If you noticed... I tried several times to get remove of these small lines that appear when you zoom. I have no idea why they are there. It's killing me. Oh well. So yeah, because I don't see that in other games, rarely. Uh, maybe in the old times in Visual Studio or Visual Basic 6 games. Eh, sigh, sigh. Let me mention some of my achievements before I forget. Or oh, should I ignore it? Yeah, let's ignore it. Whatever. It will take more time. I have only three minutes till the next break. So let's use it well. So um, I noticed my issue is I was multiplying the camera up. Oh, holy potato, I need to multiply this sucker with the zoom factor. Never thought about that. All right. This is the modeler that take the partial of the, the, the terrain, the block size and add it I should affect it by the zoom factor not the whole thing all right all right all right all right all right uh pray you called it modular uh tony code i'm not sure what does modular mean i'm sorry Yes, I'm a programmer and I've been programming since 2001 and I don't know what modular mean. So sue me and just it's kind of sad. Some of the names get differ in languages. <laughs> so Oh, 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 did you see that? It's fucked up. <laughs> uh, so if we get the normal zoom, everything is fine. If we get it a little bit larger, it's screwed up. Oh yeah, definitely. So, uh, Tony Code, oh yeah, I have the chat, so I don't need to say everything. Is asking if I can use a gun. Let's open the inventory, take the weapon, drag the weapon, and then change the weapon, and there you go. And I have alternative fire too. And actually, the weapon behaves differently when you move or fall or jump or stand still. So, I have a lot of tricks in the game engine. I have a lot of tricks. Unfortunately, I'm not showing even 30% of them. Because, for example, this weapon doesn't fire when you walk because I didn't add any bullet when you walk. And his secondary fire is not working for some reason. Maybe it doesn't have secondary fire? I forgot. But, yeah. Oh, this one has precise capability. It can go through the enemy too. 
um, several hits, then it disappear. I used to have a key to add a lot of monsters. I believe I removed it, but anyhow, we are not testing the inventory, we are testing the stupid zoom. It seems the zoom is totally fucked up. Uh, no, let's make it a normal zoom and let's fall. Oh, falling is fine. The falling is fine, but if we zoom out... Hmm... If we zoom in... Yeah... Hmm... And it's, they are not in the correct position. These should be here. What went wrong? What went wrong? This is a question will be answered after the break. In, yeah, right. In my dreams, I guess. Yeah, feel free to ask anything. I'm happy to try to answer any of your questions. I will, I don't know. I don't need coffee and I don't need more soda, but I need to walk my legs a little bit. So I'm going to take a walk and return in 10 minutes.
So I'm back a little bit early. Actually, uh, Tony Cole, this is how to put it. I was planning to make a game with this character and the throwing and everything, but I'm not focusing on making the game actually. If I was focusing on making a game, I would make a much more beautiful map than this. This project is, exists only to test the game engine because if I go to the projects, you see, the game engines are completely decoupled from the game. So this is the game engine, Game Lover. And this is the the game itself. And I'm testing a lot of the stuff because the things in the game engine naturally should be fixed. It do the general things and the general calculations. But each game uses its own stuff, like it can add its own GUI, like the inventory in this game. It can add its own physics, like gravity in this game. It can add its own fire behavior because well, not all games have bullets in the first place, but the game engine take care of a lot of calculation for the bullets and how to arrange them and how, which one to hit and which one not. But the behavior itself can be added and programmed through the game. So the game engine in here is uh, hyper. It's not fully data driven. Take all the data from the game file. I have here a game file, it has all the data that the other projects create, the one who make the maps and everything. And I have each map have its own file too, which I might change later on and make them compressed in something called a campaign file, but I'm not sure. I might keep them separate because I want later on people make maps and puzzles in different files and download them and play with them. So, hopefully that made things more obvious. Man, I hate this part. Uh, I'm not sure how to fix this part. So, one minute till the break is off, and then I will come back and come back. I will uh, focus on solving the issue. Or I can say, screw your timer. Let's start working. Let's set it at 60 minutes and start working. So, so, so. I'm not sure why the jiggling is going on. Uh, I don't think this number will affect because I'm multiplying with both. So I don't think there's anything that deals with it. Um, but it won't harm if we check. What bothers me is with the normal zoom, it's alright. The second I zoom out, it starts screwed up. Hmm. Almost off by one block. What does this mean? Yeah, days like these, mm. make me wonder what did I do to deserve it. When I move right, the camera should go more left. I 
I already did this. Um, and it didn't work. But you know what? Let's try again. And I still believe I should multiply this with the zoom factor. I don't know if guessing is... Jesus Christ. Mm. What I was saying? Hmm. Logically, logically, I need to multiply this with this. Logically. If I'm going to follow the logic. I don't know why I feel all of a sudden it will screw up, even without zooming. But that doesn't make sense. think why it behaves like this Go slower than it was supposed to be. Slower. And one of my zoom in. Yeah, it go faster when I zoom out. But the funny part is, at this zoom, it seems it's fine. Nope, it's not. The only reason why it seems it's fine, because I didn't move the camera. Okay, okay, okay. The first thing I need is a longer map. Screw this. Let's make a longer map. And let's remove this crap. Oh, is it that huge? The zoom out is not that smooth. Okay, okay, I give up. Okay. The things I have to do sometimes. And now let's add some money everywhere. Or even trees. Actually, nah, I don't want to add layers. Yeah, I can add layers and you see the tree from the background move in a different speed. 
uh, but I don't want to change a lot of things because it requires changing a lot of things. But let's just add random trees. And let's add a background. At um, 85. 85 So silly um, Let's add another one at 130 4.15 Oh, this is so dark. Let's add money. Money. Passive. Oh, look at that. The icon is not zoom in. Or out. It's zoomed out. It should be zoomed out for creatures and stuff. Why am I doing this? Just because I can, I guess. Just like the milliseconds of yours. And the last thing we want to add is some monsters. Beholders, demons, don't have bags, and they are enemy, and make a name. What am I doing in my life? Oh. I'm counting this time as work time. It's just... Alright. Um, save. Campaign. Test map. Maps. Let's see how many crashes we have. Alright. Uh-oh. So, okay, first problem is, let me try to... Um, show the blocks affected by the zoom so here mm, so this guy is the one who determine um, how many so here with zoom factor don't tell me it's fucking static please static yeah the, um, the way how I used to draw um, the the map and everything was totally different and that's why I used to use static okay what was the error please don't tell me it's float fucking float problem um, and want that crash because I'm doing it while it's printing oh look at that actually less with the zoom um, oh yeah because this is a smaller number um, wait 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 this is the size of the block if you multiply it with something smaller and then divide it will become hmm, bigger Yeah, 
Yeah, I could either move it the other side or divide it by the zoom factor. Let's take a look. Get out, stupid inventory. Nope, still not calculated correctly. Hmm. L. This is the normal zoom. When I zoom uh, in, as I zoom out, why, 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 why life is so difficult? Let me think again. When I zoom out, I should see more. To see more. Oh yeah, it should be, the number should be bigger. To make the numbers bigger, we multiply the sucker, which was the first one. Let me put parentheses. Let me put parentheses. So it was correct, hopefully. Zoom out, zoom in. Yeah, parentheses. I was mistaken. Oh man, it's a little bit harder when I'm not zoom in. Let me put it in the normal zoom, now zoom out. What? Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, let me show you another feature of my game. Uh, blocks can block the fire and to make the blocks block the fire it's called fire solid for example these guys block the fire these guys are not and why I cannot see the thing oh because it doesn't has a ghost image a blocks can be solid too so if I go to the game You notice I can fire on the floor and nothing happened, but these blocks block the fire because my game engine have two status, uh, each block I mean, in the game, either to be solid, which means I can walk on it and creatures can walk on it, fire solid, and I can mix between them. So uh, I have this feature to show the lines. If it is red, then it means I can walk on it, but it doesn't block fire. If it is blue, that means it block fire, but I cannot stand on it. If it is purple, then it's both. You can walk on it and it block fire. The blocks I add were not red at all. Uh, I forgot to make them walkable, so... I need to make it solid, press Alt, I believe. Yeah, to change the, the, the solidity status without changing the block. Fun, fun. Can I mix it with shift? No. Can I mix it with control? No. It used to be working, but oh well. In my first map simulator that I made for my my RPG game that I never start working on, actually this program was supposed to be uh, the first version, Map Simulator 1, if you know this is Map Simulator 2, was supposed to be the map editor for an RPG game. And I was busy in 2005 and six. It's a very old program. It was made in Visual Basic Studio, Visual Net. It was, mm, I was learning on Visual Net at that time because my main language was Visual Basic 6. And the closest thing to Visual Basic 6 was Visual Basic Net. 
So I was like, ah, let's make an RPG game, remake war game that I made, my first RPG game, and make a map simulator, make it bigger and better, and blah blah blah, and my coding uh, capability were embarrassing as the best. So I took it and modified it a lot. I mean, a lot. I mean, actually, I remake the whole thing. The only thing I kept now is the compression system for the block. Anyhow, um, I changed the file. Oh yeah, it's loaded in the memory. Ten F. Remove this. Take this. <sighs> zoom out and try to figure out why it behaves like this so this is the normal zoom this is a little bit zoom out and the factor is huge it Almost take you out of the screen. So, L, I'm beside this block, and when I zoom out, it's actually way out of the screen, so something is massively wrong. Something is massively wrong. Let me try it. Let me try it. The only thing I didn't try is in here. Making a new victor. And take this one, X minus uh, the camera, which is. Um, Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit. And then you, Y, break, figured. Whoops. Oh wow, hmm. So, so. This is the normal zoom. Hmm. Well, if I decrease it there or here, it's the same thing. I don't know. I'm fooling myself, I guess. Let me remove all the zoom factor from here. No, leave this one. Leave this one. Should I think for a second? Yeah, leave this one. For some reason, I feel no, I shouldn't. All right. 
Let's just sit with a normal Zoom. Yeah, if this is good up from the beginning, it just make my heart feel the pain of the loneliness. It should be easier than this, seriously. Um, I didn't zoom at all, and yet it's screwed up. It's totally screwed up. Think again, what's going on? Little by little, little by little. The thing is we are already including some camera calculation in here. Wait, wait, I didn't affect this one before. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Step by step, step by step, step by step. Zoom factor. And this time, let's put parentheses because I learned I'm really sucks with the priorities. This one. And this one. I tried to make it from outside and it didn't work because we have too many variables. Right. I didn't put the camera anywhere, did I? No, I didn't. At least the normal zoom seems fine. But it completely crashed when I tried to zoom out. Fucking A. Fucking A. That's why I didn't affect that value. Cannot I see the value? No, fuck me. You cannot see the value. Fuck me. What was the error? Ah, the error is fuck you. You don't need to see it. Which page was it? We have only page zero. It shouldn't go out of zero. What is B1?
Of course I can see it. Have you lost your mind? I want to check this thing. Can I add watch? Four six four. This is annoying more than you expect. This is so annoying. Why the, the watch is not... Yeah, I'm still not familiar with this screwed up thing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I believe this number should be multiplied as well with the zoom, but as you can see when you multiply it with the zoom and it immediately fucked up and fucked my life with it. Um. Wait, 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 wait. These four numbers represent a page. Why did the page go out when I zoom in? That doesn't make fucking sense. Sex? Sense. So... 4,064 divided by 4,096 is zero. Sixty four again. Uh, it seems I'll never solve this issue. It's, it's getting in my, on my nerve in many ways. It's getting annoying like hell. And it's making me to start swearing. Show me the function, dang it. All right. Uh, oh. So this is base zero or in other words air empty let me think so we are sending x and y so we are retrieving the block from the map based on i which is the block that we are checking minus one I have no clue why. Plus the camera divided over 
the fixed size of block multiply by the zoom factor if we multiply by the zoom factor wait so let's say the zoom factor is half that's mean I'm away from the camera half the distance then it become the block size Hmm. Half. Twenty-four. Okay. Which one was half? Uh, I believe J. Oh, nothing happened. Okay. Double. Why nothing happened? But if I, hmm. <sighs> fucking A. The thing is, I'm not sure who's out of index, to be honest. Let's be honest. I mean, he's pointing at something totally meaningless, but I believe he's he pointing to this. Hmm. Do I need to round the zoom factor every time? I don't know. Because you see the 14 thing is troublesome on edge cases. But somehow the calculation totally fucked up. It became minus 170. I'm fucking definitely sure we should use the factor here and we need to round it too because we need to retrieve the blocks from the camera if I move the camera in here I need to take the block from the camera area divided by the block size why do i divide by the block size because i need the block size itself so this is zero in the, in the corner and one two these see these numbers this is what i'm going to take so um, in the ultimate corner is zero by zero when i move the camera a lot i don't want to check zero by zero i want to check the camera area divided over the block size the block size is 48 but when we zoom out it's not 48 anymore it's 48 multiplied by the zoom factor which is this number so why the fuck did it screw up this num number must stay this number must fucking stay so what we are going to do we are going to first fuck this thing up and tell it screw you, I want to adjust the code and invert this number into an integer before we do any divide just to make sure it doesn't give me a wacky value 
remove this sucker and zoom out and it crash again index was outside of bound outside of bound of what all right calm down calm down The only thing is out of found is my patience. Sigh, sigh. Why life is so difficult? Hmm. I can't print this value every time. It will screw up everything because this calculation happens a lot. So I cannot check it every time. I'll test it again with double and half. It seems double and half are fine. Hmm. Not anymore. Can I step into? No, it immediately get out of the code. But I know there's something. I know this that my patience has run out. No, I know there's something else. The distances between the blocks. You see, that these blocks are should be connected like this. The funny part is, is connected on the X side, but not on the Y side. Why is that? I mean, this thing is fine. Did I forget some numbers? I mean, look at that. On the X axis is fine. To prove that, the middle uh, mid kit is exactly above this guy. The middle is in the middle. So actually we are screwing up partially. If you know what I mean. I don't see any difference. So apparently we got this connection. And we got the connection back. I don't see anything wrong in here. Um, hmm. Is it because... Is it 
It might be because of my position as a player. The problem is... Um, yeah, I know this the OBS. Alright, thanks for informing me. I know this OBS gave me a message, it stopped working. And I'm really sorry, I cannot find out the issue. It's kind of killing me from inside. I'm, I wasted half of my day work. And I couldn't figure out how to solve this small issue. It's just killing me. Uh, I cannot tell why it's retarded. Why it's so retarded. Why it's so retarded. Sorry, sorry. And I wish if this code was a little bit closer to that code, but oh well. Jumping between the two is hideous. Saying the least. Oh, look at that. Look at that. But we don't use this one, do we? Do we? Nope, we are using it actually. Alright, 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 alright. We found something. Let me check all the functions that I'm using there. So we are using get nobody. And this one is already multiplied by this. I don't know if this is correct or not. I mean, because of, uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Because uh, I might need to remove it if, but for now, just let's make everything as. Alright, alright, alright. Let's take a look. Close the inventory. Make it larger. Normal zoom. Pray. It will crash. I will zoom a little bit. Alright. At least it's not crashing. But only God knows what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, let's remove this. Someone need to kill this bastard. I will work on the, this part later, the animation part. For now, we don't have any animation block. 
That's why I'm completely ignoring it. Because if we cannot fix this issue, we won't be able to fix both of them together. Where were we? Yes, this function. Close inventory. Yeah. Still fucked up. The funny part is the X position is not fucked up. Only the Y position, and I have no clue. So let's make a test by falling and I noticed there's some blockiness in the whole thing but not in the x-axis again the x is moving fine but in the y it's blocky a little bit unfortunately I kind of flow I believe we are dealing with partial issue. One of the numbers is fucked up. One of the numbers is fucked up. It shouldn't be you. It shouldn't be you. Hello. I, 10F, moving normally, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, going normal, zooming out, finally, congratulations ladies and gentlemen, it finally worked. If I only have more focus, I could solve this issue years ago. Because I needed to separate all the variables that affected by the zoom and multiply by them, but I'm happy it worked. Let's screw it up and say we are done with this part and you, goodbye. So here, we made the zoom successfully. Let's go to the next step. Map teleportation. So let's take a look on I forgot where. Uh what do you mean the stream is not watchable? <laughs> 